one has been raging since August 1914. Over four million dead, 11 million wounded. Four million missing or captured. Only a brave few could rise above it. To battle man to man. On fragile wings of glory. St. Marie Capelle, Belgium, number 23 squadron RFC, January 25th, 1917, 0830 hours. I think we're in for it now. The Major looks hopping mad. I think you're right. Despite what you may think, Lieutenants, we are not holding this war at your convenience. I should say not, Major. The quality of champagne around here leaves quite a bit to be desired. Getting lit up like a new saloon and being carted back here with the morning dispatches is intolerable. A flight left half an hour ago without you. I had to rust out Sykes and Halleck to take your places. Sorry, sir. Aside from patrols, consider yourselves confined to the aerodrome until further notice and get yourselves sober. You're going up with B flight. Well, I suppose we must find other amusements while we are confined here. It could be worse, Charles. We could have been court-martialed. Get sober, my sweet Aunt Fanny. If I didn't keep my common sense pickled, I would have gone adrift long ago. I wouldn't say pickled, Charles. In your case, I'd say embalmed, old man. Don't be so glum. You gents at least have airplanes. You could be like them Russians, slogging through the mud with no rifles to use. What a rotten bear he is this morning, making us give that lot the cook's tour. You'd think he was the one with the hangover. Air raid, lad, to your plane on the double. Bloody hell!
Just look at that canvas. I'm certainly going to catch hell from Harry now. Perhaps you could tell him it's a fashion statement. Quite right. The very latest in ace decorating. Look at those buses. The old side is full of bullet holes. Those aren't bullet holes, Harry. They're ventilation holes. One of these days, Liptini, your arse is gonna fall out of one of them ventilation holes. Harry was a bit testy, wasn't he? Who can tell he's always like that? But I think we should make ourselves scarce for a bit until he cools off. Just like you, Charles, old boy, to arrange a private party with the Huns and forget to tell any of us. If your nose hadn't been stuck in a book, Ollie, you could have come with us. My name is Oliver, not Ollie. Stop bickering, you two. Dash it, all my head feels like an overripe melon. It's just not fair, though, chaps. Our patrol was bloody boring. Better than having the Bosch trying to drop a bomb in your bed, Eddie. If I had known they were coming to us, I wouldn't have gotten up so bloody early. Why ever did I volunteer for this bloody war? You joined for the adventure of it all, old man. Don't you remember? You won't let me live that down, will you? You don't call risking your life every day and drinking every night adventure? No. I call it survival. Reporting as requested, sir. Very good. Your mission was successful? I believe so, yes, sir. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. Carry on. February the 11th, 1917, 1710 hours. 